we're back and we got some more Kansas. Yes, I'm excited. This has been an interesting journey because the first one that we did, I didn't expect it to be like that, but I really liked it. What did you expect? I don't know. I think I just expected it to be like a little bit more like rockish. I don't know, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was awesome. Yeah, so. it was a, uh, a great introduction to Kansas. It was mm-hmm. really a mind-blowing experience. I think yeah. Mark recommended that we do that one, right? Yes. So he introduced us to Kansas. And on the heels of that, you guys were saying you got to do Carry On, Wayward Son. Yeah, this was the, now we're here. by far the most requested in the comments. Mm. It was like every second comment was carry on wayward son. <laughs> you guys are going to love this song. So we're here. We've arrived at another one from Kansas. And you were making mention before we got on camera about this individual on the screen here. <laughs> His hair is wild. He's got some flow going on. That's for sure. Yeah. I'm jealous. I wish I had that much volume in my hair. <laughs> I do not want you to look like that at all. <laughs> He's just like flowy Please, and voluminous. No. I mean, I'm not even close yet. So, uh, and I'm referring to that facial hair. As okay, well, well, I don't want the facial hair. I just want the voluminous volume in the hair. Say that again. Voluminous, voluminous volume. Voluminous volume. My hair. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna see if they're gonna turn up the volume on this one here yes. and carry on wayward, a wayward, carry on wayward son. Before we do get started with the song, what do you have to ask them, Samantha? We have pop quiz question for you, and we want to know what album was this from, and what year was it released? If you know, drop it in the comments right now. If not, don't worry. We'll tell you at the end. Before we get started, we just want to make mention that we're so appreciative of all your support. Wouldn't be where we are today without all you guys, so thank you so much. We really do appreciate it. We like to say it on a lot of videos because it is true. We yes, are grateful. thank you so much, guys. We wouldn't be where we are without you, so. All right, enough about us. Let's get into a little bit of Kansas. You ready? Let's do it. Oh my 
goodness. These boys need to chill. God, these guys are killing it. This is so cool. I love how there's so many like tempo shifts in the music. Like they'll go from being like going really fast, like completely slowing it down and then going back to like super fast. It's like they're jumping to this, jumping to that. But it's still the, uh, the changes in the energy is, is, you know, very, very prevalent. Yeah, but it still flows together all so well. Like, I feel like there is a lot of like stop start with the energy, but it's not like so chaotic and all over the place that you can't stay in tune with it. Yeah, it's really great. Cool. I, I, this is, you know. I think this is going to be one of my favorites for sure. I'm I'm just blown away by the intricacies, like you said, going in and out, you know, from one section to the next. So much energy coming in with that electric guitar, which that riff is so so fire. Even the bass riff is riff is so fire. The keyboard usage, then they got these vocals that are like you know hauntingly angelic and you know very poetic at the same yeah. time with the lyrics and oh, it's just an awesome awesome song. Yeah. I'm loving this one. Super cool blend. Yeah, and uh, interestingly, kind of the lyrics are a little heavier, mm -hmm. right? But the vibe doesn't feel that way. Well, it's, one thing, it's, sorry, go ahead. One thing that I thought was really cool is that the lyrics are talking almost about like this spiritual journey of like, you know, like once you put your head down to rest and, you know, like, you, like when you get to the end, like you will find peace type thing, inner peace. But then there's just like so much energy in the song. So it's almost like this peaceful spiritual journey is the meaning. But then it's like the music is like, <laughs> well, I, I almost take it as like the first component is the journey and the chorus is like the end of the journey. Yeah. So it's like the build up. And then you feel that with the music as well, because the, the verse sections are much, you know, more tame mm -hmm. Then we get into this heavier section in the chorus and this vibrant energy. So it's like lay your head down now because all, because when he's talking about the, in the lyrics, he's kind of talking about the struggles, right? Yeah. But then he gets the, the chorus and it's like, don't worry, like just carry on way, way where it's on, right? Yeah. Like, and I think that's, they tried to do that. I mean, I'm just, just my theory, but I think that's what they were going for with yeah. the sound, right? Yeah, Was, yeah. You know, let's make this first component sound like this. It's going to say this. And then we get the chorus. It's going to sound like this. It's going to say this. And then we've got this vibrant energy throughout with the musicianship as well which is my favorite component in this it's just each it seems like each member i don't know how they made this uh, in terms of the composition as mm -hmm. a group but it seems like they're e each member was just like going in with their creativity on their part yeah and it's so cool because they have so many like different elements like the guy with the tambourine he's like playing the tambourine in the yeah. background and like even the different sounds of the keyboard like they have more of electric sound in there they had more of like an organ kind of feel in yeah. there at one point too so there's like a lot of diversity which is really cool well let's give it a good little rewind here because it was so good why don't we listen to it a little bit more
Nadânia. Boys wow. were banging on that one. That was a banger so from Kansas. So good. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. A few other things that we didn't discuss. Uh, first of all, the harmonies really just sounded mm-hmm. so awesome again. That was one thing that was consistent from the last one that we yeah. did. Yeah. Harmonies were off Yeah, the they charts. crushed that in the first one too. However, with that said, this was nothing like Dust in the Wind. No, like completely different. I was not expecting this at all. No. Even from the first riff, you guys like, probably so saw diverse. my reaction. I was like, what the hell is this? Because it was not, it was not what I was expecting after the first one. It was like, yeah. you know, uh, so more chill and dust in the wind. Well, I think like when I said at the beginning of this video, when I said the first one wasn't what I expected it to be at all, I think this is more on point with what I expected to be, but not this intricate and like, as like, just vibrant but more of like you know the heavier guitar and stuff like that like this is kind of what i expected this was not what i expected either way yeah this blew my mind the (laughs) musicianship in this was off the charts yeah so good so good in so many respects and you know i like i said i wasn't expecting it at all but definitely pleasantly surprised and even though i think i recognize the melody of it you know that way carry on wayward son Mm -hmm. i feel like i recognize that but i also feel like i recognize like the riff and the melody the way they were singing a little bit but i don't recognize the song which is interesting like it's almost like Mm -hmm. it was so catchy that maybe i only heard it a couple of times in passing but i recognize hearing some of that but um i didn't like know what he was saying and i didn't know anything about the rest of the chord and I knew nothing about this musicianship and the instruments that they used. And, and it was yeah. it was very deep, too. Like, depth-wise of the instrument usage was the next level. So I was super impressed with this one. One of my favorites that we've done on the channel. Yeah, I definitely have never heard this. Um, and it was, like, just so incredible. I want to add this to my playlist for sure. Yeah, well, that makes two of us because yes. it was awesome. Before we go, we're going to give you the answer to that pop quiz question that we gave you in the beginning. Samantha, give him the answer. And the question was, what album was this from and what year was it released? And the answer is that the album name is Leftoverature and the year was in 1976. That's right. 70s had some bangers. Yes, it did. Kansas was a big part of it. That's for sure. I don't want to go back to the 70s. Well, I won't be seeing you there. (laughs) Because I was not even a thought of being born yet. Yeah, no, me either predates me by quite a bit (laughs) and uh that said i'm glad we got there eventually yeah i know this was awesome so thank you guys for all of those recommendations in the last one yeah that's right that's true those comments were right on point with kansas carry on wayward son loved it thank you so much for the recommendation you guys support has been tremendous throughout the past year please continue to do that right now by hitting that like button for us and leaving a comment hitting the notification bell and the subscription if this is your first time on the channel we'd love to have you a part of this community that we keep growing every single week we're so amazed that it just continues to progress but that's because we love doing what we're doing so hopefully you want to yeah hopefully you want to jump on the journey with us and we'll see you tomorrow thanks for watching guys see you then